So next one we'll tie is a cruncher. So I'm using orange thread because my red's breaking on me. Uh, but you can use red or orange. Yeah. So this we're going to use not a sedge hook, a uh, wet fly hook, okay. about a 12. So you can tie this 10s, 12s. So you just want any type of red game hen. Doesn't really matter, it's not. So grab uh, one of the feathers. Yeah, and I wouldn't get hung up if you got too much, or too, like just a good clump, call it a good clump. Right. And you want about the length of the shank of the hook. So I'm gonna tie it about that long. And tie it in as my tail. So I, I like to do two wraps. It's always good to put one underneath. And I like, I'm pretty anal about the body of my flies being the same, so I tie it in as the whole body. So I'm just tying in the wire. I do it the whole length of the body again. So this time we're gonna use the pheasant tail. So I, pr I like to leave the base on it. That's just me, I just rip it so it doesn't fall, fall apart in my hands. I just clip it at the shortest one. I don't, you don't, you wanna keep it as thin as possible, it just evens it up. So I'm gonna wrap it just like you would a pheasant tail. So tie it in with a couple soft wraps tie that in as the body, right? Okay. So, I, just like you would a pheasant tail, so it's now at the back, because I'm going to wrap it. Right. Take my thread back to the front. So uh, we're going to wrap the feathers around as a body now? Yeah, and some people twist their pheasant tail. I don't like to. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's Billy's out better. I just kind of wrap it like, like one fat. I just lay it flat and wrap it because I think you get better segmentation in the way. So I just wouldn't crowd the head. This is like, don't go for that last wrap. You'll be tempted to do one more wrap. <laughs> I have been my whole life. Stop early. Yeah. Give yourself some room. Because we're going to put a hackle on this fly if we were just tying it off, maybe. Okay, yeah. so counter wrap, and what I like to do is angle. So actually, I don't know if it makes a huge difference, but I pull at an angle towards the front of the hook to actually lift the feathers, not the feathers, but this just gives it, lifts it a little bit more. So you can see I'm just wrapping it at an angle versus just straight up and down. So all I did was pull that kind of at a 45 degree angle versus just kind of wrapping it straight around. So mm -hmm. there's a bit of an angle to it. Mm -hmm. I just think it lifts it up a little bit more. Probably minimal difference, but I just like the look of it. So again, I would say don't crowd the head. Don't go for that extra wrap because we're gonna throw some hackle on this and dubbing. So you could probably just fish that. Looks a lot like a doll bock right now. I would think, actually you could just tie that off and fish that pretty happily. Yeah. So less is more, yeah. not too much. Don't, that would be almost too much. Well, I'd take a bit of that off. So what we're gonna do, just dub a little bit in, right there. Build up a bit of a head, just like that. And then we we'll take a little brush, brush it in, brush it back over the fly. Let's pull out the excess. Actually grab the, one of those head feathers, you know, yeah. Yeah. maybe the one you, Rip the end off, I just grab another one. So, I would just say you want kind of the. Somebody put a Vaseline the, on this. A little bit or? longer than the hook. I wouldn't get hung up on it, but just not like a giant one. All we need is wind this hackle. So, just tie in the stub. That, that's why we left the space. Because we're going to. So, you wind this up. Right? I've tied it in. This would be one time, you could use hackle pliers if you want. I just pull it back when I come back around. I just do about two and a half wraps. This is one where you don't have to be as, like some people think you over, over wrap it with a still water fly, you can go a little crazy. Keep it sparse. Normally sparse, this one I don't go as much because you're pulling it through a lake, like it's not a river fly. And then a couple wraps in the front. This ain't gonna work for you, Rod. So two and a half wraps, don't have to go overboard, but you, this, it's one where you, if you over a little bit, no big deal. I just wet my hands, pull back, build up a, just a bit of a thread head. Don't go, 
Yeah, well, that's where you have your red thread or your orange, and that is a cruncher. Let me just tie off. Thank mm -hmm. you.